Hello everyone, my name is Mohibul Haq. I am a WordPress training team faculty member and a WordPress developer. Here today we are joining uh, training team WordCamp Europe 2024 Contributor Day Online. So uh, at this moment there uh, are an event happening in the uh, Torino, Italy uh, that uh, uh, lots of people are joining there and but uh, who uh, can't go there or join uh, the, for them we uh, arrange this event called Training Team World Camp Europe 2024 Contributor Day Online. So uh, we uh, are here uh, to help uh, new contributors who are interested in uh, contributing to training team. So if uh, you are uh, new here, you will get a, a guideline how you can uh, contribute uh, uh, and par uh, participate in Contributor Day. So uh, if you... Uh, if you uh, have this uh, event page on your computer, you will able to see uh, we already mentioned what we need uh, to participate on this event. So first of all, we need to uh, sign up for an WordPress account. We need to create a Gravatar account and then uh, we need to uh, create a Slack account. Uh, after uh, connecting all this, uh, you are ready to uh, contribute. Uh, but here, uh, we will discuss what projects you can make uh, some immediate contri uh, contributions. So I think uh, it will uh, help you uh, start contribution uh, really quick. So what uh, Jagir already said, WordPress is an uh, open source contributor uh, software, open source software, and we are uh, we can easily download WordPress from this uh, WordPress.org website. So. Uh, but most of us don't know how WordPress is made or uh, how WordPress uh, 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 grow. So uh, if uh, you uh, notice, there is a community uh, menu item here. And if you click on uh, this item, you will see make WordPress is available there. So this is the section or uh, website that uh, talks about uh, the WordPress community how WordPress is built and how we can also participate on this uh, uh, contribution uh, section. So uh, we all are contributor, like I and Jagir, we all are contributor. We all uh, help WordPress to grow. Like uh, if you are interested to develop WordPress core, you can uh, visit this channel and design channel for uh, this link. And uh, this type of uh, 23 uh, channels uh, WordPress currently have, and we are specially here to talk about this training team. So I will just uh, visit this training team uh, blog. This will uh, take you to the training team uh, blog, and here you will find all the guidance, how you can start uh, your contribution and how uh, you can uh, do uh, many other things with this uh, training channel. So uh, I will uh, suggest you uh, to keep uh, this as a reference. Uh, you can bookmark this link and use for future reference. So uh, I will uh, click on this get starting handbook page. So this is the page what uh, will help you to understand uh, the uh, process you have to uh, follow for uh, doing immediate contribution. So uh, when you visit this uh, handbook from here, like uh, we clicked on here and this will direct you to this section. And uh, this handbook is, uh, I think it's a perfect for uh, starting your contributor contribution. So here uh, you need to uh, understand how we uh, communicate on WordPress. Like there are uh, three different uh, uh, process uh, you can follow to communicate. Like one is team blog. So team blog is the main uh, website for training team. If you visit this, uh, actually we uh, come uh, to this link from training team. Like if I visit again, this is the main training team blog. And here you will find all the updates like uh, what's happening in the training team and what we are focusing, what type of uh, work you can uh, start contributing and all other things you will get uh, update here. So we will talk about that also, but uh, let's introduce other uh, communication channels like Slack. Slack is the main uh, messenger or chat uh, chatting software for us. 
so uh, if you want to communicate with the team immediately live then you have to use this slack software so uh, you must need a slack account if you want to contribute uh, on wordpress so after making your slack account and a wordpress account you have to connect both and also uh, we need a github account uh, to contribute in wordpress training team so github account uh, mainly we uh, most of the developers use uh, github to uh, for development purposes but here in training team we use this for tracking our uh, issues or uh, development uh, things so uh, you must need this uh, two thing like slack and a github account to communicate with the team and contribute on wordpress next uh, in next uh, session we already uh, discussed about uh, we need a, a wordpress account which uh, already men uh, all uh, again mentioned here so you need a wordpress org account and you need to uh, connect this slack account and github account with your wordpress accounts okay so then uh, after that you are ready to uh, make your immediate contributions so there are five different uh, projects you can uh, start with like uh, five different type of role you can uh, hold on uh, this training team and uh, you can uh, start contributing so training team is the uh, place where uh, we make educational content and resources for uh, learners so uh, if you want to uh, get involved with training team you uh, you can do this uh, type of uh, things on training team like uh, you can uh, become a content creator on wordpress uh, training team uh, we will uh, see this uh, in few moments how you can become a co uh, content creator okay and another uh, scope is uh, trans uh, content translator so you you can become a content translator also like if uh, already a content is created you can uh, become a content translator for that this helps to make uh, the content accessible for all local languages so uh, you can just pick a topic already uh, built in uh, make wordpress or learn wordpress website yeah you can translate it and another uh, thing is content uh, editor so content editor uh, is uh, a, a person uh, who take care of uh, this con type of content publishing when someone is uh, trying to publish this content content editor help them also they can edit a published content also so uh, content editor has uh, many different roles so uh, sometimes uh, some people uh, give feedback like uh, uh, there has a spelling mistake or there uh, there has an uh, uh, outdated content so uh, content editor also fix that and there has another role that is called subject matter experts who is uh, an expert and decide what type of content we can uh, create on training team okay so if you are expert or working for uh, like uh, five to ten years uh, then you can uh, become a, a subject matter expert also and then we have an administrator role which is uh, a really important role for uh, making uh, for uh, making this training team uh, activity uh, smooth so uh, administrator do all the thing uh, required uh, to uh, make this activity uh, properly so these are five uh, roles uh, you can uh, apply for so am i uh, going too fast or can anyone uh, tell me please if you have any question also oh, i think uh, it is perfect okay okay so if uh, you uh, decided to uh, make uh, some immediate contributions uh, you can apply for uh, these uh, roles like if you want to become a, con a content creator you you can just click on this content creator onboarding and you will uh, go uh, to this link and here you will able to apply for uh, become a content creator so here in this form you can easily fill out all the 
uh, for all roles like uh, you want to become a content creator or a content translator or content editor subject matter expert all things you uh, you can apply for but i uh, suggest you to start with content creator or translator because there has a, a ladder uh, you can uh, become administrator at the first stage right so as a beginner if you are new here you need to work as content creator or translator or uh, you can apply for editor and after uh, that time when you will become expert and understand everything you can easily apply for the administrator so uh, this is the process you can uh, start uh, apply for here apply from here and become a content creator easily so let's move to uh, our main uh, working place where we will work mostly this is the uh, if you uh, go to that uh, header menu again you will find the learn option and if you click on this learn here you will find learn wordpress if you visit this website you will uh, visit this learn.wordpress.org which is the main website for uh, our uh, training team uh, and this uh, website is uh, the place where we uh, are share all the courses resources or, or all type of content we publish here so if you visit this website uh, we are uh, making this uh, we are working with a redesign uh, process uh, maybe in uh, next month uh, it will be modified with new design so uh, we uh, have lots of tasks to do here so if you are a, uh, if you applied for a content creator you can make tutorial or a lesson plan here also we have another type of content uh, which is uh, workshop and uh, we are currently doing this type of content here like uh, this type of, of workshop we can also do in a training team in learn wordpress website so if you decide to uh, make any tutorial uh, you have to uh, visit our uh, github first so let's move to the getting started page again here is our onboarding document and here uh, you will find the link of github this is the official github repository for uh, training team learn So this is the place where we uh, keep all the track of our uh, work in training team. So if you are interested to make any kind of uh, contribution, uh, you have to follow this GitHub and uh, work uh, here. So uh, I will uh, demonstrate how you can uh, start immediate contribution uh, here. So first of all, uh, when you decide to uh, make a tutorial you have to visit uh, the github and then the project uh, dashboard okay so this is the projects section and here you will find all the project boards like uh, what uh, training team has many different uh, projects so uh, we created different project boards here and uh, you can uh, follow these boards to uh, start making your content like if you want to uh, create content then uh, you have to follow this board learn content development and then content localization this board and uh, there has a uh, board like content feedback this is uh, this is the uh, content feedback dashboard uh, in which area you want to contribute you have to uh, visit that uh, dashboard and uh, from that you have to uh, contribute so if i visit uh, to content development dashboard here you will find the uh, topics that uh, we are looking for uh, contributors who can make these tutorials uh, already a few uh, topics are uh, some people are working on those topics so if you uh, can create a, a tutorial you can just take a look and if you think you can make a tutorial on this topic like what is a theme you can just apply for the uh, content creator uh, access and then you can start creating uh, this uh, top, uh, tutorial and uh, then uh, when you start the uh, 
tutorial making it will move to the next stage and uh, after that it will uh, go for review and then publish so uh, this is the way you can uh, start contributing on uh, making wordpress website so if uh, anyone has question uh, please ask me Okay, if you have uh, don't have any question, then we can move forward. Uh, if you uh, decided to contribute in WordPress uh, training team, I must suggest you uh, to visit uh, to attend the WordPress training team meeting, which happens every week Thursday on uh, zero UTC. So uh, if you uh, join this training team uh, meeting, you will uh, get uh, overview of uh, WordPress projects and what uh sectors or sections we need more attention or uh, we are uh, searching some immediate contributions so uh, today uh, morning uh, we had a meeting and i uh, knew that we need uh, validating applying content feedback uh, so this uh, section we need some contributors and if you are uh, new here i think it will be best option to uh, start so that's why i am sharing this project with you and after that uh, i will share another project that you can make uh, immediate contributions so validating uh, applying content feedback who, what is this and uh, what, why we should do this so uh, let's visit the learn web website again if you visit the tutorial section you will see there are lots of contents here and uh, I also created a content few days ago and there are uh, lots of uh, tutorials like uh, I think uh, there has more than 22 pages uh, so lots of contents there and if you uh, visit these contents and find any error uh, there like uh, if you find any spelling mistake or any kind of uh, image broken issue or something uh, that is outdated like uh, you can see there has a code that is not working or something and then uh, people, when people find this type of issue they just uh, create issue on the uh, github okay so they create uh, issue on github and when uh, here you will find lots of issues like uh, i can see these uh, issues are awaiting uh, for triage and uh, you will find lots of feedbacks given here and uh, if you visit the project board here here you will find the uh, learn wordpress content feedback section this feedback uh, feedback section you will find or uh, there are lots of tickets that people already uh, give uh, their feedback and uh, maybe there are some error or uh, outdated content so we need some contributors who will check uh, these uh, feedbacks are uh, genuine or uh, not uh, like uh, they can reproduce it or it's just an error uh, not exist still so uh, if you are new you can just open this ticket and uh, check if uh, these issues are still exist or there are some uh, spam uh, feedback uh, given so you have to understand uh, those uh, things and then give a feedback so that training team uh, moves forward because uh, most of the administrator or other uh, members like faculty members may be busy with other tasks and these are so basic things so they don't care about this so if you uh, can help them if the content is valid uh, feedback is valid then yeah, we can move it to awaiting fix and then we can fix this this way uh, our training team works our github issue works so uh, you just need to click an issue like uh, let's open a issue from here like uh, let, i will open this one so uh, what is the uh, feedback he given this course 
audit feedback okay content title community meeting and tick content url this url you have to visit and are you reporting an error uh, such as outdated content or improvement ideas so he uh, provided an improvement idea so if you uh, think this improvement is valid or will be helpful or beneficiary for our learn uh, wordpress uh, website then you can just make a comment here like uh, this url i am giving at the uh, chat box so you all can easily uh, visit this page and get guideline for uh, applying uh, content feedback like when uh, you can also watch this video how this process work validating content feedback issues when you have you have to follow basically these five steps like uh, from uh, one to five and first of all you have to uh, check uh, this section awaiting validation section here and then uh, you have to uh, copy this comment like if i open this one if you found this uh, issue is valid then you can just add a comment like this and if you are reporting an issue, can you confirm reproduce uh, the issue? Like you can uh, reproduce uh, the issue. So uh, we will add yes here. And if you have any feedback, then you can write this here and just uh, hit on comment button. This is your task. And if you uh, can re uh, reproduce this issue or this is valid, uh, then uh, uh, editor will come and he will uh, just move the issue to from this section awaiting validation to this awaiting fix okay like let me show you we can easily uh, move this to uh, another board like this is awaiting validation or awaiting fix so this uh, is not your task but uh, if you are trying to make a con uh, contribution as a newbie you just uh, do this kind of validation so let me uh, and uh, read this all content so uh, your next task is just commenting uh, this uh, issue is valid or not and then uh, you can add some screenshot if possible like most of the people create here uh, feedback issues but they don't uh, create any uh, screenshot or images they don't attach any image so if you uh, like this uh, guy already uh, gave a feedback you can also give this kind of feedback and add some images to uh, this issue which one you are working and then uh, you can leave a note uh, what should we do next for the editor okay so uh, these are uh, the and then uh, lastly you can ping a faculty editors in slack channel when you visit the training team like let me visit the slack for a few moments here in the training channel uh, when you will join this training channel you can just uh, ping the faculty editors and just tell uh, you worked on this uh, ticket, this ticket or give the ticket URL. And here I worked on, I worked on this ticket, ticket and give the ticket number. Uh, please uh, check the ticket. You can give this kind of message here and an editor will come and check if the issue is valid then uh, he will move forward the issue okay so we are currently uh, searching uh, some uh, feedback some feedback on uh, our this uh, issues so if uh, you can if you want to make contributions you can do uh, contributions here another thing uh, i need to mention uh, we are uh making a huge change on our learn wordpress website where we need more uh, contributions like uh, uh, if you visit the wordpress.org website let me visit that the design is changed a few years ago uh, 
this site was not uh, looking like this. So recently, uh, WordPress uh, changed the design and also uh, redesigning is happening in uh, Learn WordPress. So Learn WordPress also uh, uh, redesigned already done. So uh, we are changing this uh, in, in next month, uh, next month of July. So we are uh, thinking to change these thumbnails, like all the thumbnails are looking same or uh, similar. So uh, for a new uh, thumbnail, we are planning something. Let me share a resource first. So uh, we are planning to make something like this kind of thumbnails uh, for our uh, this course. This course are already exists. So we are not uh, deleting those course or tutorials. We will just uh, reformat those uh, tutorials like thumbnails or a uh, few outdated content we can uh, remake. So uh, what uh, training team is currently uh, searching uh, in here uh, is uh, changing these uh, thumbnails. So this is the post where uh, we uh, discussed all the things, how you can uh, participate on this thumbnail generator project. And uh, it will uh, not take uh, four to five minutes to make a thumbnail and you can do some immediate contributions there. So let me uh, follow this uh, post. So thumbnail creation project uh, in uh, preparation for the relaunch of Learn WordPress website uh, scheduled for July, we need to create large quantity of small graphics called thumbnails. So uh, we invite volunteers uh, who is contributor, uh, WordCamp Europe contributor day, uh, 13th June. And uh, like uh, we are inviting people uh, to join this uh, thumbnail generator project. So uh, if I start reading all this content, it will take a huge time. So let's dive into the main part, how you can uh, contribute. Okay, like preparation. You need a Figma account first. You just need to register your Figma account and then uh, you can download the Figma app, uh, which is optional. You can uh, browse from your browser also and then uh, carefully read the uh, read the Figma uh, thumbnail generator guideline. So here is a guideline also how you can generate thumbnails. Uh, you can watch this video how you can make a thumbnail. And generate a couple of test uh, thumbnails, exporting and verifying uh, that they look as expected. So make sure you are able to create a professional thumbnail and that is our requirement. And then uh, you can uh, start making a thumbnail for our projects, like all the content I already shown here, uh, this uh, thumbnail need to change. So where you uh, will find uh, this, uh, it's already mentioned that open the content tracking spreadsheet. You will find uh, the link in the training teams bookmark. Okay, so if I visit the Slack channel again, in the training teams bookmarks area, like these are the bookmarks bar. And here, if uh, you will notice thumbnail project and uh, I will just open content tracking spreadsheet. Here, all the tasks are listed. What type of what uh, projects or tutorials or uh, courses need to redesign. Like these are already redesigned. And you, you have to just visit and uh, check these uh, tutorials. Like if I visit this, this one, uh, maybe this is, there is no thumbnail or in the inside of the post, maybe there is uh, a thumbnail or this is marked as no. Okay, uh, let's visit this lesson section. A tutorial we can visit. Okay, so like we can visit any link from here.
and we need to regenerate this thumbnail okay so we first need to comment on this uh, thumbnail like we have to start from uh, top so we can keep a uh, serial so here you have to add your name like thumbnail uh, by this section add your name like i am adding my name mohibul haq and then uh, make sure uh, someone is confirmed you can work on this uh, so you can ask some faculty members or in training channel that i want to uh, work on this uh, thumbnail generator project and then you can start regenerating this thumbnail okay so let's go back to the main post here okay so and then uh, you can just redesign the thumbnail and uh, after that uh, you can submit this to uh, a google drive which is here okay so if we click on here you will see there are some drive links google drive links here like tutorial thumbnail okay so i uh, already designed i um, think that uh, i already designed the thumbnail and i will just click on here and then uh, you can just drop your file and after uh, adding your file you have to just copy your uh, thumbnail url and add the thumbnail url here okay right uh, uh, with my name like i worked on this project and here i will add my thumbnail url here so this is the process uh, you can make uh, some immediate contributions here and i think uh, after that uh, if you want to contribute more uh, you can just ask on a training channel or uh, participate on the uh, training team meeting regularly then uh, everything will be uh, clear to you with the passes of time so uh, i want to uh, give a uh, floor to jagir uh, who is my co-host and uh, if you want to uh, discuss something with us yes so i think uh, some of the portions you have very uh, clearly uh, described like the thumbnail related project as you have mentioned so yes we can uh, we can easily uh, contribute with the training team to create a small thumbnail and do the contributions all right yes and so in the train yeah yes okay. yes yes please okay so uh, i think uh, we can uh, give uh, some time for our uh, attendees if uh, if anyone has any question and we can answer uh, that as well in meantime, Jagir, you can continue if you want to say something. Yes. Uh, also, uh, uh, user can uh, contribute in the uh, meeting notes related post uh, right. create uh, in the our training team as well. Right. Right. So, so as you know that we have a, every Tuesday we have a meeting, right? So. Right. Uh, we can create a meeting notes and also we can publish on the wordpress.org. So, um, can you please show me the uh, post examples? So, contributor, all contributor can see okay, the right. post. Of, yeah. Okay, so let's uh, visit our uh, training team website again. Mm -hmm. if you visit the website you will uh, notice there are some uh, trading team me uh, meeting recap post which is uh, posted by uh, some of our valued contributors so this is one of them like training team meeting recap of 6th zone of last uh, Tuesday before uh, this Tuesday so uh, there was a meeting and a training team uh, lots of participant and uh, participants attended here and they discussed about the process uh, and contribution and projects progress and all other things and then uh, we had a meeting note taker uh, who is prem theory and also uh, some uh, people like uh, jill 
Jagir and Oron, they are already uh, scheduled their uh, time uh, for like 13th, uh, 20th, uh, for uh, each week. So uh, some of the uh, contributor uh, take all the notes of that meeting and just publish as a blog. So, so uh, when someone uh, was busy or uh, could not attend that meeting, so they get a quick overview of what was discussed on that meeting and uh, where uh, the training team is moving. Like uh, in today morning, uh, we had a meeting also and maybe uh, Prem is uh, doing the, no, sorry, Jill is uh, the meeting note taker for uh, today's meeting. So she will publish a, a post by taking notes from here. So like uh, I also uh, didn't know we need uh, uh, to uh, focus on this thumbnail generator project. Uh, when I joined this meeting uh, this morning, I just uh, knew we need to uh, focus on this uh, like our uh, contributor to Europe uh, post is uh, live and here uh, the focus uh, uh, Laura uh, uh, hosted the meeting and she uh, told we need to focus on this uh, project so that's why uh, I discussed the topic here so someone and this is uh, so easy I think making thumbnail is not a big deal and I think uh, we can get uh, some uh, quick overview of what uh, training team need attention or something and we can make contributions here so yes, I, think, we will, uh, I think like patrick have a, some question okay yes patrick please go ahead uh, sure uh, i can share the thumbnail generator uh, projects link Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes, Patrick. Okay, thank you. Now, um, thank you so much for the presentation. I have learned a lot. Um, I have a few questions. Okay. Uh, one, um, um, I would like to help with the one, the content feedback validation, validation and also regenerating the the thumbnails. Now, do I need to submit another application for me to become a contributor or uh, because I've already submitted an application to become a content creator for the training team. Do I need to submit another application? No, no. If you want to uh, contribute as a content feedback uh, expert, so you, you don't validating a, a content feedback uh, do not require any uh, application. Uh, you can just go visit the uh, links and uh, GitHub links and just make contributions. And also these thumbnail generator projects also uh, do not need any application to submit. You can just uh, edit. These files are uh, accessible. Um, I think it's public file, so you can just easily uh, edit. Or if you can't edit, you can just ask me or uh, some other faculty members. Uh, they will help you. Okay. Okay, thank you. And uh, about your uh, application, uh, when did you uh, apply for uh, the tutorial presenter application? A few minutes ago when you were presenting. Okay, so, okay, no problem. I will uh, take care of that also. Okay. So, if anyone has uh, any other question. So uh, I can stop the recording for now and then we can discuss more.